We show you a lot of the state capitol on this show, and if you've never been there, I promise it is well worth the trip. The state capitol took more than three decades to build, and even then, it wasn't done. When then-Governor Teddy Roosevelt took office, he stopped work on the capitol and declared it finished. And since then, a lot of the building has been preserved, with original floors, walls, and staircases that all still look brand new. So this week, we thought we'd take you on your own trip to the state capitol. In this piece from WMHT's Will Pettigo. 2 p.m. tour. You guys made it. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Albany. We're going to take the next 45, 50 minutes, a nice leisurely walk through the capitol. All right, follow me. My name is Matt, and I have been a tour guide since August 27th, uh, 2012. Uh, we're going to fill up this elevator. I assure you that we can probably all fit in here. All right. I feel unbelievably lucky uh, because we get to talk about New York State history. We get to talk about culture. We get to talk about art every day. Um, I could not imagine that a job like this would exist, but it does. A couple steps down, feel free to take a seat. You're already taking photographs. This is what I want to see. New York spent a lot of money on the Civil War, right? More money than any state. Uh, we provided more guns, more bullets, more everything toward the cause. And more New Yorkers died fighting in the Civil War than any state. So we come out of the war victorious. We want to celebrate. We want to memorialize the situation, right? The history. Well, we chose to build a new capital. Our tour guides, not only do they need to, need to know the ins and outs of the building and what type of stone is behind me, but they also need to know where any visitors are supposed to go for whatever needs they have that day. Our detail gets extremely granular. Lucky for us, we found some of the last original tile floor in the building under some 1950s floor. And this is Minton Tile uh, from the Minton China Company out of England. Uh, since they are still around, if one of the tiles here cracks or breaks, they can make us a replica of a tile that they made us over 100 years ago. How amazing is that? All right, follow me. We can thank uh, the OGS design and construction crew who uh, have done reports on the building. Uh, there are historic reports, architecture reports that tell us how many windows there are, how many columns, how many arches, each stone. Uh, each tile, what was really original, what was replica, what's not. And we need that information because we get those questions every day from visitors. Was this the first building to have electricity in Albany? This was one of the first government buildings in the country with electric lighting. The New York State Capitol is extremely complicated, right? Right off the bat, it has to do with the architects. You know, usually you have one architect, they come up with one single beautiful design and they roll it out and there's a completion date. Uh, but for our capital, it did not work out that way, right? We had five architects in total. We have about five to six different architectural styles within the building. Architects didn't agree with what the previous architect might have done. Uh, we talk about uh, Henry Hobson Richardson being the main architect for the Senate side of the building, but he never touched the Senate staircase. It was his architectural partner, Leopold Eidelitz, who did something completely different. I mean, it's really, it is so complicated, but if anything, it makes it really, um, really interesting and exciting. And I think that's really why visitors are drawn. And I mean, there was someone on the tour today that I know has taken our tour probably five or six times. All right, this is it. This is the New York State Assembly Chamber, right? We need both chambers in order to get those bills voted on, right? Majority vote, yes, and to the governor's desk for a signature. I love New York State, and so my background uh, is in geography, and my specialty was New York State geography. Um, yeah, just an obsession of New York on the map, an obsession of everything within that map. Uh, landmarks, um, cities, towns, um, historic events, uh, you know, the majority of the American Revolution was fought on New York State soil. That's amazing. You know, like, the, New York really is a special place as far as national history. This is what we call uh, the Great Western Staircase. This staircase took about 12 years to build. Every bit of the stone was imported from Scotland. It's a sandstone. It was ideal for carving. It was covered in hay to keep it moist on its transport here to Albany. Once it arrived, the blocks were set, 
and the carvers got onto the stone and carved in place. The Great Western Staircase, the public knows it as the million dollar staircase. I think that's the perfect representation. Um, it might be one type of architecture, but w there are 77 famous faces and many of them are, are New Yorkers um, and they are all diverse backgrounds, right? You have women, you have fam plenty of famous men, right? But you know, we have Frederick Douglass, we have Susan B. Anthony, we have these figures in history that um, just remind visitors of how important our American history is. Um, if anything, the staircase is really that, it's a showcase of American history, right? Not just New York State history, but um, n really New York's involvement in national history. The response we want from visitors who take our tours and see our exhibits, uh, it's, it's really that they walked away learning something, um, really anything, even if it was 10%, 1% that they got, um, at least they were learning something about New York State, um, something that matters. Uh, on the Capitol tour side, you know, my main goal is to let people know that this is a public building. You know, this is not some fortress that you're not allowed to enter. And I think there's a major misnomer of people thinking that they can't come into this building. You know, you, you walk in and you see a security guard and you see metal detectors. And I think sometimes people won't even ask if they could go any further. They'll just see that and just turn around and leave. And that is absolutely not what people should do. You know, just come inside. It's open to the public get through the metal detector and you can roam the halls. Take pictures of some of the most beautiful architecture that you will ever see. I mean, it's here. Uh, also letting people know that they can become part of the legislative process. When New Yorkers take our tours and they did not know that they can watch a legislative session live um, or know that they can even be involved in that process, there's a message being lost there and so our tour guides really try to remind the public that this is an accessible building and the work that's happening in this building will affect your life. And if you choose not to be involved, that's your choice. But there are consequences to choices.